Before the video starts, I just want to say real quick, I post my solo porn on OnlyFans.com. If you want the link to my solo porn, just email me. My email is in the description box and I'll give you the link back, okay? I answer back to every single email. So if you want to have yourself a good time, enjoy yourself maybe a little bit, if you want my porn, just let me know, okay? Without further ado, let's go to the video. All right, I had to know, I had to know which breakfast sandwich is the best for fast foods. So what I'll do, I'm gonna test four fast foods restaurant right now. I'm gonna go and buy uh, their egg and sausage muffins. I wanna know which one is the greasiest, which one is the tastiest, which one has the best cheese, best eggs. I'm gonna taste them and I'm gonna tell you which one I recommend. Let's go get some food and let's get let's have ourselves a nice cheap meal, baby. When you have a good day and you want to share that good day with people, you want to share that energy, look at this. This is what you do. Hi, can I take your order? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. How's it going today? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Uh, I'll just try your uh, egg and A and W. Burger King. McDonald's. And as well, you guys here, Tim Hortons. First off, I want to start out with, with uh, A and W right here. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like first. Okay, I, I always look at the sandwich every time I try something new for the first time. I love to look at it. So see how the product is looking. This is looking pretty freaking good. Look at the egg right here. Looks delicious, nice and greasy. Cheese looks nice and melted. And then we got the sausage under. And I mean, you can literally see the grease on top. I mean, this is a good cheat meal right here. Let me tell you. Let's see. Let's see how it tastes, okay? Pretty good. Um, sausage is extremely salty, but that's normal. Sausages are always salty as fuck. Um, I can't really taste the cheese though. So let's see. Let's see uh, what Burger King, this is Burger King right here. Let's see what they got going on. So the egg is different a little bit for this one. As you can see, it's a square egg. Almost looks like an egg white. And then right here, we got the sausage. And then all the way here, we got the melted cheese. Right here, look at that. I mean, simple food is the best food, right? In my opinion, it can't beat that. Hands down, Burger King much better than a and w hands down the even the muffin the mcmuffin is much better it's just more tender and it just tastes better overall so burger king beats 100 percent a and w sorry a and w but burger king has better sandwiches than you all right let's test the mcdonald's one now mcdonald's i tested it before but i still gotta compare you know all right let's let, let me look at let me show you I love McDonald's, how they do their eggs. They just, they round eggs like this. And then of course we got the sausage and let's see. Okay. McDonald's has the best egg so far. Okay, let's test Tim Hortons, see what's going on with them. <clears throat> oh, the egg, the muffin looks really, really tender, really good. I like that. And then here we got the sausage again. The sausage look all the same. They taste pretty much all the same too, honestly. For me, what makes the, the difference in a sandwich is the bread and the egg. Most of the time, it's the two ingredients that make the, the biggest difference. So let's see. This egg right here, it's a basic egg. It looks like it's it's been frozen before. Maybe not though. Let's test. It doesn't taste that great. I don't know, man, it just doesn't. The The bread doesn't taste that great. The overall sandwich doesn't taste like much. It just tastes bland. So Tim Hortons. Eh, yeah, no. Tim Hortons and AW are my two least favorites so far. Uh, my favorite overall sandwich, honestly, gotta go with McDonald's, man. McDonald's, you got it going on. You know you got it going on too, man. Like they, They've been at it for so long, they know exactly what to do. But Burger King, gotta step your game up, Burger King, because your eggs don't taste that fresh compared to McDonald's. 
there's a huge difference. So I would go with McDonald's 100% of the time, Burger King second, and then the rest is down the drain. What is going on YouTube? Yeah, 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 yeah. How is it going today? This is not the exact order I did the exercises. I just mix and match for the video. But this was one of my last sets actually weighted uh, push-ups right here with uh, 345s on my back. I got what like look at this like uh, six and a uh, six and a half. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, man. But like I said, that was at the very end of my workout. After I've done all this, after I've benched, after I've done this incline press right here, and so it felt pretty good, you know. Uh, so here, this was my second exercise. I always start with a barbell bench press every single time. It's my first exercise. Uh, but here I did this after for for size for hypertrophy for bodybuilding um, I, I just did like simple two two sets of 10 reps. I think that that's it. That's all that's all I did for for incline press um, I truly believe that simple simple workouts get the best results There's no need to overcomplicate anything keep it simple keep it high volume keep it keep it high reps keep the low uh, keep the time low in between your your uh, sets and that's how you build muscle man you want to build the muscle you want to really have good technique and for example here when i do this exercise right here this variation of um, chest flies cable flies i mean um, i always make sure to keep my shoulder blades nice and tight i bend over keep my spine neutral and then i just make sure to stretch and squeeze that's all i focus on stretch squeeze every single time a rep i really try to focus on squeezing my chest that's the only thing i'm thinking about every single rep i want to squeeze my chest every single rep that's the only reason i'm doing this exercise i want to squeeze my chest that's how i think about things that's why i'm saying this um but yeah that's that's what i did for this i did two sets and all were drop sets like you see here and i i think i actually did a double drop set so do your drop sets man i'm telling it over and over again but it's because like i see so many people not do drop sets or supersets and i think drop sets or supersets are so so good to build muscle and so many people just don't do them you know and they want to build muscle and then they lift heavy trying to build muscle like six to eight reps all the time and heavy and uh, that's not going to work out man you need to higher reps than that you need to to switch it up once in a while not just do like eight rep sets for example or not just 10 sets reps or 10 rep sets but switch it up man have some va variety like 8 to 15 reps maybe even 20 reps sometimes alternate your sets alternate your weights alternate your, your everything man just switch it up once in a while doing the exact same thing exact same movement exact same sets exact same reps every single time you won't get anywhere you'll hit a plateau really really quick so really try to um switch it up once in a while and your body will adapt to the change eventually it just takes a while for the nervous system to adapt for your muscles to adapt but you will get there okay trust me you will get there it's a matter of time consistency and hard work there's no way you're gonna get any results without putting in the work man you gotta putting that hard work it, it, it's gonna be worth it at the end of the day let me tell you okay so here uh this one my first exercise like i said uh barbell bench press i mainly i don't really do much high reps for bench ever or even squats really uh because i keep the compounds mostly for like strength or so and then when i want to go for muscle building i go to like isolation stuff or bodybuilding stuff um i've always pretty much done it like this but like i said before switch it up i might soon switch up my my bench and maybe do like 8 to 12 sets for bench press for example just to switch it up just to have like a, some more size some more hypertrophy um in me so my body can adapt and change that's how you you you, you build muscle huh? like you just want to keep track of your progress for your compounds mainly and keep track of your volume how many sets how many reps you did that particular week for your bench and then over time, you know, you want to accumulate more and more volume slowly but surely and your body will adapt to the change. But you need to have good technique. You need to be patient. You need to be smart about it. You want you don't want to be like too impulsive and too uh, impatient because being impatient and you, you go for your sets too quick, for example, you don't take enough rest time in between your sets. The weight will feel heavy and you might miss a rep or two. So you're missing volume because you're impatient. 
I used to be like that, that's why I'm saying it. So take your time in between your sets, especially if you're doing like lower uh, reps, like I don't know, like two to six or two to eight reps uh, sets are extremely exhausting, extremely high energy demanding. So it takes more time in between your sets to, to recover. So take your time, it makes sense, right? Take your time in between your sets, man. Especially lower reps sets, they, they just, engage more energy you're just gonna waste a lot more energy so you need to take your time to recover in between your sets so the weight can move so you can get your reps in so you don't miss a set because if you miss a, a, a rep or two in your set of six for example you only did four reps and you were supposed to get six reps well shit you missed out on, on some volume you're missing out on some gains basically because you did something wrong somewhere you didn't gauge your, your your rest period or you didn't gauge your weights properly so be careful with that okay and always try to push your limits some way or another that's the whole point of me saying all this nonsense right right here it's not really nonsense it's common sense to me but i want to share that with you so people can can maybe think like this because sometimes man i'm not gonna lie I used to go to the gym and not really think much. I just went to the gym, did something, and that's it. I call it a day. I did not have any specific goals for a, a session. And I think that's a big, big mistake. I think you should have two to three goals per workout session. Okay, what do I want to achieve today? What do I want to work on today so I can be better in the future to achieve my fitness goals? Okay, so this session for bench, for, for chest, for example, for me, I really wanted to accumulate a lot of volume. So I did a lot of sets, lots of uh, reps, and I, I did it. I, so I got that. And then I wanted to do like some double, uh, heavy doubles on bench press. I did that. I think I did four sets of two reps, pause, bench press. That was my two goals of the day for this session. And then I'd, after that, I'll just have some fun and mess around and just build some muscle, you know, just train my arms right here and have some fun. But have yourself some specific goals for your sessions every single time. Two to three goals, specific goals that can really help you achieve your goals. And it will make you have something to work for in your session. You'll have a goal. You'll be goal oriented. So you'll be motivated. You'll be inspired maybe to achieve your goals better. So you're not going to go home because you're, you lack motivation because you, you, you should have motivation if you have goals going on for yourself. OK, so really try to push yourself. Don't be lazy about it and you will get amazing results and it might even change your life. man. Because I know for myself, bodybuilding definitely changed my life. I mean, I would not look like this, not even close today if I would not have started bodybuilding like 10 years or so ago. OK, it's not going to happen. I don't get magical results. I get results by fucking putting in the work man it's that's all there is to it dude put in the work eat your food don't eat junk food like i did at the beginning of the, vid of the video though <laughs> just eat some good clean foods that was my cheat meal i just wanted to have some fun and film that i love food and i love greasy food man but i do it in moderation okay i cheat two to three times a week but i don't have two to three cheat days i have two to three cheat meals per week that's what i do for myself just to like have balance okay but yeah, that's it. pretty much it for this workout. Here, tricep kickbacks. Really try to focus on fully extending your elbow, okay? I want to say that. Fully extend your elbow. Feel the, the squeeze in the back of your tricep. Very, very good to build some meat on your tricep, to build some mass on your triceps, okay? That's all the time I had for today. Thank you for clicking. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you later, YouTube. Have a great day. Take it easy. Chest is scooting along, shoulders are scooting along nicely too, getting round, rounder I feel like, but uh, chest is getting thicker, more defined, feeling good man, feeling, feeling good.